Have you ever seen one of those memes about doing push-ups every time you die in a video game? It's a neat idea, but is it an effective way to trick yourself into getting fit, or does it just ruin the fun of playing video games? Let's see. So here's the plan. Every time I die in this game, I'm going to do 10 push-ups. That's it. Go. I'm gonna play this on balance. I'm not gonna do story. I'm not gonna do God of War because I'm not a psychopath. First death. Fuck. Can't do all these push ups in a flannel. It's so fucking fast. My push ups are getting worse. So the reality of how bad of a plan this is, is beginning to dawn on me. Over 200 push-ups yesterday, and my chest and arms are super sore. I didn't even want to play today, but I'm really enjoying the game, so I'm going to keep playing it. Fucking kidding me? Fuck! 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 No! Fuck! 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 The cracks are are starting to show. Nonetheless, I soldiered on, and delivered mediocre after mediocre push-up to an ambivalent god in pursuit of meaning or understanding of some kind. Until... Okay. I found an exploit. Look at this! Well, I've been punished for my hubris. You have to finish him off you know, close range finisher. Yeah, otherwise he gets a he gets a bar of health back and he can't get across the pond that fast, so Well played, Santa Monica Studios. Alright, I got him in the glitch again, so I'll just take him down to his last health bar and then go in with finisher. So I'm fucking sick of dying and I can't do any more push-ups. This is what happens when there's a cost to dying, so you should start doing anything you can. Okay, that was a chicken shit victory, and I'm not proud of it, but I'm very sore. The design of this, I had two thoughts. I'll either play just as much and I'll get fitter, or the, my physical capability will be like a cap and will beater me and will force me to play less. Neither really happened. I just found that the gaming experience was made worse and dying made more aggravating by adding a punitive act. And that's what it was, punishment. Not doing push-ups per se, but doing push-ups in this exact manner as a response to failure. It's been a long day. Wanted to have a nice little relaxing video game session, um, but no, it's a workout. Thought I was just playing the story and taking it easy and, and not really going to die, but <sighs> I got a belly full of beer and I got to do push-ups. We all choose how we engage with the art we consume. Some of us don't want to do any work and expect our pop culture to come to us, to use our language and cater to our interests. Others do want work, a, a puzzle, an intricate plot to untangle, a mystery to be solved. Somewhere in the middle lies folks like me, who willfully engage with art, not necessarily in a way the artists don't want, but just adjacent to how they intended. It's like watching a movie in a different language, or visiting a museum drunk. There's still plenty there for you, you're just gonna have to work a lot harder to get it. I could tell when the plot was ramping up to the final chapters because I was dying less. The gameplay softened for the sake of maintaining a narrative pace. I didn't just notice, I felt it in my shoulders, in my chest. I felt the end coming physically. Anyway, my point is... Like, if you want to do push-ups, then just do push-ups. And if you want to play video games, then do video games. But for the love of God, don't try to marry them because it just makes you worse at both. There's got to be a different behavior, you know, like, like taking a sip of water or something. Something that doesn't shock your nervous system quite so much. Your brain has to jump back and forth and your body has to jump back and forth and it's distracting and it's kind of a bummer. But it's not like it ruined the game for me. I still experienced amazing performances. Richard Schiff from the West Wing. I still marvel at the artistry of the world and character models. Whoa. Seth. In our home. 
Hey. And I still felt more or less how I imagined I was supposed to by the end. I died 179 times, resulting in 1,790 push-ups over 16 days. Now, not everything pairs like peanut butter and jelly. Some combinations just don't work. But by slapping together seemingly incongruous activities and experimenting, we just might learn a little more about why we do the things we do and how to make those things as meaningful as they can be.